video is going to go over a sample problem for sex-linked traits. The problem states, in unimonsters, horn number is controlled by a gene on chromosome number one. The length of a horn, however, is sex-linked, in which it is found on the X chromosome. Unimonster sex determination is just like humans, where males receive one chromosome, X chromosome from their mother, and they get a Y chromosome from their father. And female is determined by having two X chromosomes, one from their mother and one from their father. Now, horn length itself is controlled by the X chromosome. So depending upon what allele is inherited, it will determine whether a unimonster has a short horn or a long horn or something in between. In the problem, it states that there are three alleles, so it makes it multiple alleles. You have one allele that is X with a superscript 3, and that's dominant for extra long. You have one that's X with a superscript 1, and it is recessive for short. And you have one that is X with a superscript 2 that is also dominant for medium. Now, since you have two that are dominant, that means you have incomplete, um, incomplete dominance and you have intermediate formed. So X with a superscript 3, X with a superscript 2 is actually going to be medium large. So it's in between the medium and the extra long. So now let's look at the problem. If a male unimonster has medium horns and is crossed with a hybrid that is heterozygous, longhorn female, what are the possible, probable, phenotype and genotype outcomes for their offspring? Draw a Punnett square. All right, so we've got the male. For him to be medium horns, he's going to have to have the number two, superscript for the medium. And the female, she has two X's. She is heterozygous for longhorn, not medium longhorn, but Longhorn, so she has to have a three and the recessive one, right? She's carrying, she's a carrier essentially for short, but is not showing it because it's recessive. So she's only going to show the phenotype for that one. So if we write the phenotypes down too, that makes sense. So the female is large or, or long, extra long. And the male is medium. All right, so let's put that into our Punnett square. So put the male here, female, all right? Uh, two X chromosomes for the female, right? She's a carrier for the small, but she is extra long. And the male is medium. He has X, but he doesn't have another X, so he's just got Y. All right. Now, in our outcome here, we're going to see that we're going to have the first columns would be all girls, because the Y makes the guy. They only can get it from their father. All right. So it's always a 50-50 chance, boy and girl. Now, let's look at what those boys and girls will look like. All right. Um, mom's egg here has a superscript 3 and then the guys the male X here has a superscript 2 now if we look at our breakdown of what these things mean right that first female is going to be medium large Showing the codominant there, uh, in, sorry, not codominant, but uh, intermediate, right? So it forms an intermediate between the two. Uh, next one down, mom has a one for short, and dad provides a two for medium, right? Uh, so that would be recessive. So it would be a medium. Now, we need to also focus on, as phenotype, the sex. So, 
50% there, female. So you end up with a one block, it's 25% chance female, medium long, 25% chance medium female. Then we got our males over here, 50% chance. All right. This one here, we got uh, mom's X, superscript three, right? So this would be a male and he'd have extra long. And then the second male here gets mom's recessive, and he ends up with a short. All right. So let's look at all the probable outcomes. There's a 25% chance of having unimonsters that is a female, and will have medium large horn. 25% chance of a female that's going to be long, horned. You're going to have a 25% chance male that's going to have extra long. And another 25% chance male that's going to be short. All right, so if we look at our questions, are any of the monsters short-horned? Yes, a possible 25% chance of having short-horned males. Not females, but only short-horned males. 25% uh, chance. Is it possible to ever have a male medium long-horned unimonster? So that would require, to get medium, you have to have X to superscript 3, X to superscript 2, and that is impossible right? Because the guy has to have a Y. So the only possible outcomes for males would be this. X with a superscript 3, Y. X superscript 2 with a Y. And X superscript 1 with a Y. Only possible outcomes to have males in Unimonsters. So that tells us that that medium long is impossible.